we're in Dublin today um, and it's all about Sky One and I've been having a lot of fun on Sky One recently. Um, we've got the third series of Got To Dance coming back which is bigger and better than the last two series put together. It really is absolutely amazing. We've done the audition process and we're just waiting to go live now. And also Ashley Banjo's Secret Street Dance Crew which is a brand new show that's coming out which no one would have seen before. And it's all about me taking um, unlikely dancers, you know, darts team, dinner ladies, police, um, polo players and turning these groups of people into a street dance crew in a limited amount of time in secret to all their friends and family. So it's just a really fun, feel good show. We're here promoting um, my new show called uh, Moon Boy, which uh, Sky is, uh, is doing with us. Um, and we'll be on at some stage <laughs> towards the summer. Um, and it's a terrific show, which um, centers on kind of a 12-year-old version of me in 1990 in Boyle and Roscommon, um, who has an imaginary friend who I shall play. Well, Sky One has shifted. Now we commission more homegrown content than we have American content. About 60% of our output is homegrown. Uh, so we're moving across the Sky portfolio from spending about 350 million euros a year on homegrown content to up to 700 million euros in 2014. What that means is we'll be able to give Sky subs in Ireland, of which 1.6 million watch Sky One every month, stuff that can really appeal to them, that talks in a language they recognise and is set against backdrops that they know. The idea for Secret Street Dance Crew came from a statistic I read that said 85% of people can't or won't dance and I think that's rubbish so when it was put to me, okay, well then put your money where your mouth is and teach these people and I was given the kind of demographic of the people, you know, darts players, you know, who don't do any type of activity at all, they just throw darts, drink beer and you know, it was like, wow, this is going to be difficult but um, it's a challenge that I accepted and you have to watch it to see how it turns out. There aren't many networks that can do this, you know, that can happily shoot here and set something here. And, um, but because it's very kind of committed to, to doing Irish stuff, it was the perfect home for it. 